What is going on guys? Gaming Ram here and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 and today we are working on this little car right here as you guys can see it's like a eclipse like um that's what it kind of looks like it looks like a kind of like an eclipse but anyway <laughs> this car came in here I got a car repair order here as you guys can see let's see what's wrong with it um oh wait hold on wait a minute all right Alright, so we got some uh, transmission, and we're going to change the oil and refill it with new. Alright, let's pop the hood real quick. Let's just take a look at this, uh, this old thing here. Alright, let's get it on the lift here. Let's lift this thing up. So basically, um, it's it has a terrible gearbox issue or whatever, so I'm going to lift it up. And I'm going to take a look at the transmission for him. So, first things first, obviously we're going to have to get into the transmission, so we're going to have to take these tires off so we can actually do it. To take the front axle out, so let's take that axle out. And then we do the same thing to the uh, passenger side. Take out the front axle. There she goes. And now we come back over in here. And we have this front dry shaft. We're going to take the front dry shaft out. And now we come back over to the driver's side and we can work on the transmission. We're going to take the trans, but we're going to have to take the starter out. So we're going to have to lower the car again. So bring her down, take that starter off. And then what we are going to do is uh, we're going to completely drop that uh, gearbox because it has a gearbox issue. And we currently do, we don't know what's wrong with it. So. We have to take it loose first before we can actually do anything. I don't have a test path. I mean, I probably could have drove the car, but I don't really feel like driving uh, the thing. So, we're just going to tear it down and do my own. That's exactly what we're going to do. Alright. see. Do I have any, like, additional tools or anything? Inventory, car stats, additionals. Nah, I can't really. Nah, forget it. Alright. So let's see, the clutch release bearing, 70% on that, the pressure plate, I'm going to take the pressure plate out real quick, pressure plate is 66%, and then we have the clutch, I know it's bad, it's 4% and the flywheel is probably also bad, that's a 14%, so it's bad too, alright, so let's, uh, let's run over here. And let's grab this stuff real quick. So we need a new clutch. Um, and a new flywheel. And I, that's all I know for right now. Um, if, if I need more parts, I will come back into the computer and uh, do that. But she needed a new flywheel. And then we're going to put the clutch in because it needs a new clutch. That is 100%. I know. The pressure plate. 66%. Hold on, let's see. Does it need the pressure plate? Let's take a look. Pressure plate. Nope. Alright, so the pressure plate is good. So all this stuff, we can put this stuff back. So we fixed the transmission issue, so now we just have to worry about the other stuff that he want, or um, we have to figure out the other stuff that they want fixed. Um, so we're going to put the gearbox back. Basically, it was the clutch going out on the transmission and the... Uh, flywheel and this front dry shaft regular one right front dry shaft c front dry shaft b i didn't look i might have to look hold on actually it'll tell me front dry shaft okay it's just a front dry shaft front dry shaft yeah that's not happening I need to know exactly what it is. What exactly is it? It's just a front dry shaft. Okay. But hold on. You know, because when I go to the computer, I don't see a front dry shaft. You see what I'm talking about? I don't see that. Front dry shaft. No. No, 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 no. I don't see it. Alright, can I search? Front drive. Front 
drive shaft. There it is. All right. All right, let's mount this on here. There we go. Um, hold on, let's not put that on yet. Because, uh, I think, hold on, was it? Man, this thing has a big list. Hold on, I see a bearing in here that's not good. You see it? You see it? That's that little bearing. The wheel help bearing is no good. Yep, there you go. So, how about this side? Is this one's good? This one's also bad. Okay, so we need wheel help bearings for the front. I need rubber bushings also, because I know they're going to make me do that. So let me clear my search, and let's search, what was it? What was it, guys? <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, I, com I completely forgot what I was even searching for. What was I doing? Oh, will help. Okay. There we go. I need will help bearing. I need two of those, and then I'm also going to get some uh, rubber bushings, because I know I'm going to need them. Oop. Hold on, I didn't even search here. Can I search now? Er. Oh, there we go. Rubber bushings. I don't know. I usually stock up on these, just because I know that they, they make you replace so much of them, so I usually just stock up on them. Not too many of them. You know, don't, don't stock too much, but, you know, a good amount. Is always good always good all right we can put these back because those are good but we're gonna have to take these uh, in links off sway bar in links because we're gonna replace the sway bar because I know it's bad you can see it's bad so we're gonna replace it since we're here make sure that we put these little wheel help bearings back in before I completely forget this order all right and then take the link in link the shocks, they still look good, so I'm not going to worry about them. Uh, front sway bar, I know you're bad, so we're going to replace it. Oh yeah, it's 2%. And then rubber bushings all the way around, basically. 20 minutes later. The end links are still good, so you don't need those. You just need the, end, the uh, sway bar. Got a brand new one for you. And then we just install the end links. Which is at like 75%, which is still in good condition. Axle back in. Now, I'm not going to put the tires back on the front yet until I know for 100% that this car is done. Alright. Look good here. I know these uh, rubber bushings are all going to have to be replaced. And that sway bar, I can already see it, it needs to be replaced. Trying to look in the in here. I always check in here. It's in good condition. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna have to get some double D on it. Here we go. Now we can take the boat out. And now while I'm over here, let's go and take the end link off so we can uh, get it prepped to take the sway bar out. Put these bushings in. Because, again, if I don't, I'm going to completely forget. So, let me do it now so I don't forget it. There we go. And we install that. And then we're going to come over here to the driver's side and do the same thing. We're, we're going for that 100% honesty here. That's what we're going for. We want to be honest here. All right. Rear sway bar A. So, let's go and grab that real quick. If I go the right way. Rear sway bar a. There it is. The end links were good. Don't have to worry about that. Alright. Let's go and do this. Put this on. And then we'll put the sway bar end links back on. It's going to be a brand new car. Brand new. Almost. Not 100%. But it's going to be almost brand new. Good enough though. Alright. I'm going to replace this one here. Everything else back. Oh, yeah, we need double D. There we go. Do I have enough rubber bushings? Nope, I gotta get one more. 
those are the big ones or the small ones? Well, I'm gonna have to come over here. I gotta get some bushings. We got all this done, taken care of, and then we have this, and then all of this we haven't discovered yet. Um, so we're not going to put the car back together until we know 100% that we're done with everything that requires the wheels off. So we're going to change the oil because I know they want the oil changed. So let me do that while I'm here. All right, we can put that back. And then they don't want a new filter. So I'm not, hold on, actually, they don't want a new filter. Yeah, okay, that's good, 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 good. Save me money, yay! All right, I'm gonna lower it down, now we're gonna check the engine bay. And basically, we're just gonna check um, anything that could be possibly damaged, like belts and stuff like that, because, you know, you know how that stuff goes. Condition, it's either a timing chain or a timing belt. So we're gonna take a look at it. And then we're also going to check the coils and the uh, spark plugs. Alright, everything here looks like it's in pretty good condition, so I'm not worrying about it. So yeah, all this stuff is good, so we're going to put it back. Are you sure about that? We're going to check our coils and spark plugs. 74%. This coil, that's a bad coil. Uh, that's a bad spark plug. Oop, wrong way. And then, we're gonna check this one. Bad coil, bad spark plug. Check this one, make sure anyway, 73%. That's good, that's also good. So it's neat, two spark plugs. I'm gonna double check and make sure. Two spark plugs and two ignition coils. Put the old ones back to where they came from. A little swapped up here though. All right, there we go. And then bam. And bam. There you go. I wonder should I should have took off the um the top engine, the top of the engine. All right, we're going to have to go a little bit in depth of what this car is actually going to need because at the current moment, I don't know. So, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into the engine. Not too deep. I don't know if it's anything like engine related, but we're gonna take the coils out and we're gonna take the uh, the cover or the ga the uh, head cover off of the engine, and so we can look at the like the uh, the cam. So, yep, that's what I was talking about right here. See it? Cam shaft is bad. And that's basically about it, as far as I can see. All the uh, uh, all the caps and stuff is good. So here we go. It's nothing but to do it. See, I was in the right direction. I just didn't know that if this car actually needed a new camshaft or not, or anything like engine related. But come to find out, it's something engine related. So, well, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun indeed. Anyway, we gotta take the timing cover off. And I just took the radiator fan off for no reason. All right. There we go. Oh, look at that. We got another part right here. We got a cam gear A. It's bad. All right. I'm put that in my shopping list so I know. And let's take the cam gear off. And then we're going to take the chain out. And then we're going to get the gear. And then our new camshaft. Which I'm also going to put that in my shopping list. And I got to come back over here. Not not here, but I got to come back over here and I got to take that belt off. Remember when I took that belt off? Yeah, I have to do it all over again because they didn't... I was going in the right direction, but yeah, I didn't think about it. Here we go again. It's tricky because when you take this cover off... It doesn't necessarily show you because you look at this and you look at it as like, oh yeah, this is all in good condition, blah, blah, blah. But the top of the engine and the other part of the engine is what's on, what's bad. So anyway, we got to take all this apart. So 
the belt has to come out so we got to take the belt tensioner off belt tensioner off and then we're going to take our belt off which is our servicing belt a we're going to take that off and then our cam gear is actually we're going to take that off and then once when we take this off then we can take the camshaft out so now our camshaft comes out which is this and now we can actually get the part so we're going to come over here to our handy dandy computer from the 80s and we're going to get ourselves a new cam which we actually can open up our shopping list by pressing this button here and hit a and then we just buy it that's our brand new one that we just bought and then our chain which will be this which is also brand new but again remember when i was looking at that chain i said that chain was actually in good condition it was not in good condition it proves me wrong looks can be deceiving okay looks can be deceiving definitely i'm gonna put all this stuff back the timing cover goes back on and then basically we're gonna put all these little caps back on the camshaft so it's gonna take a little bit so i'll see you guys a little bit later all right so we got all that put it back together and all that so next thing is everything engine related is done i think okay so after completely trying to figure out what is wrong with this car I decided that I'm going to take it on the test track, so I'm going to drive it, and I'm going to try to pinpoint exactly what is wrong with it, because I don't know, so this is what we're going to do. Oh my god, you guys hear that turbo? Okay. Yeah, it definitely needs an alignment. Brakes are good. I'm gonna test the suspension here. Brakes, oh yeah, that suspension's awesome. All right, we're about to test the brakes real here. All right, the suspension was awesome, but the car needs an alignment. That's what I, that's what I found out is that it needs an alignment. All right, everything looks good. Everything looks good, but let's see what they want. How's the car order here? It's still not discovered. Are you serious right now? I am actually genuinely confused on this car. What is wrong with this car? The next day. Okay, so I got confused around here and I upgraded the shop here. <laughs> so the shop's a little bit different. I don't know what is wrong with this car. I've been trying to figure out exactly like what is wrong with it i don't know um i do have tools this time so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do some an exam and i'm going to see if i can well, hold on not that not that not come on now all right we're gonna see if we can exam the car by using different stuff that i have now so we're gonna use all this and we're gonna test it everything so we're gonna find we're gonna find out what's wrong with it i got equipment this time all right everything checks out here as far as uh electrical everything checks out everything's good everything's good all right yeah everything's good as far as electrical all right so let's go over to step two. We're going to do a compression test. We know the car runs, but we're going to double check just to make sure that it's actually good. There it is. Piston. That's the problem. That's why we couldn't find it. See, uh, so basically the pistons, it has two busted pistons. Yep, that's the problem two busted pistons that's why the car was hesitating because it's literally down on power if you remember it on the test drive it was actually hesitating that's why all right so now without now that we done found those we we need to figure out maybe like bearings or something all right at least we now know what is wrong with the car so i just put oil in the car so that's a waste of money <laughs> But up she goes, and let's grab 
the drain. That's lift A, I think. No. Wait a minute. The heck? Move. Lift A. There we go. I gotta drain all this fresh oil. That's nice. Now know the corporate. The corporate lies behind the oil pan. Which also means that we're gonna have to take the top of the engine back apart. See, he did not specify this. He really didn't. Because what he said, he literally said it shifts. He had... See, shifting and running is two complete different things, and he did not state not a single one of them. Anyway, any new camshaft caps, and then we have two bat pistons, which is this one. So we're going to have to take the rod cap out. Alright, so we are now at the bottom of the engine here, and we are putting our pistons back in the engine. So I'm gonna show you guys just how this works. Is uh, you took the, you take the old ones out, and what you do when you put the new ones in, you just put you know you just click piston with the, and then you just put the piston rings together, and that's it. That's basically all you do. And now we can put the engine head back on, and the turbo and the cams and the fuel rails and it's just a lot of stuff. So I'm probably gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to watch all of it. So here we go. All right, so we have all that together. So now we're gonna lift this car back up, put the caps back on the crankshaft, and then we're gonna put the uh, oil pan back on the car. So we're gonna put all these little caps back. So that's what holds it together when it rotates. And then we have the crankshaft bearing cap. That just holds the crankshaft to the, <laughs> to the, the legit engine so it doesn't fly out the car. And then we got the rod caps. And I'm going to have to get, like, two more rod caps. I think. Well, actually, hold on. No, 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 never mind. I, I don't need them. But it did need all the new uh, crank. No, never mind. I'm going to have to get me another rod cap. We are done. We are done, ladies and gentlemen. All the way down. There we go. And now we're just going to put some fresh oil in it. That's it. That is it, ladies and gents. We're done. We're literally done. Oh my god. We are finally done. Anyway, here's the new shop as you guys see it. It is much bigger now. We got rid of that school bus. So we had this new section and they installed me a new lift and we cleaned up the shop here a little bit while I was trying to figure out how to work on that car. So it's a lot more organized. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. And the next time you guys see this shop, we're going to have my own car right over there.